Hey, this is Van Munston Tiger. Um, today I will be showing, this is my first video, and today I will be showing you how to make one of these little jigging spoons. You can make them bigger too, but this is just the biggest size split shot I have. And what you're going to need is obviously a split shot or weight of some sort. I'm using like that. A file just to shine it up and remove any tool marks, some wire, a pliers, a hook, and a hammer. So let's get to it. First what you want to do is you want to open, open that up just a little bit, just enough to, so that you can get your wire in it, and then I you want to have enough so that you have extra because if you don't have a long enough wire it's going to turn out like that where it's you can't get a line tie on it so take your wire you want to bend it like that and squeeze it so it looks kind of like that, and then this is actually a little bit too long, so I'm going to clip that off a little bit and take that side, the other side, and bend it over, and then before you completely shut it, what you want to do, oops, is take your hook, it can be a treble hook or anything that has a big enough eye hole right there so that you can slide it on your wire and it'll be able to move freely. And then you can just go ahead and close that up. I think it's good if it looks kind of like a staple when it's closed. And then Stick your, this is the tricky part, you gotta stick your wire in and then at the same time close it. Just a second. What I do is I hold it like that and take the pliers, just gotta make sure everything is all lined up and stuff. Or I just hold it in the pliers. And close her up. And then you can clamp it shut. And then you can either leave those, just flatten it up, or try to take them off somehow. You can cut them off. That's what I'm going to do. And then. This is when the file comes in handy because after you're done you can just clean it up or right now you could. But yeah, so and then you just remove all the sharp edges. You can file it flush. Might take a little while, but you could do that. I'm just gonna leave it just like that, how it is. And then what you're gonna wanna do is stick your well, well, the unfinished lure like that, or something like that, so you're holding onto the wire so you have something to hold on to. Take your hammer and uh, find a hard surface. In this case, I'm using my bench vise. Then just pound it, pound it as flat as you want. You can make it, uh, you can round it. To, on both sides, you can round it out as flat as you want. Uh, I think that's about good right there. And then there's your finished, well, almost finished product. If you're 
line ties or hook hangers got all messed up, you can just bend them so they're a little more straight. So it's like that. And then since my bench uh vice prep bench yeah bench I can't talk right now. My bench vice is a little bit rusty. You just file all that rust off and get it nice and clean. It also adds a little bit of extra shine. Shine. You can round it off your lure off a little bit more. So like see that? That's at before rusting or er, before filing. And then you can just take a file to it. And get it as shiny as you possibly can, just like that. The shinier, the better. And you could add some other stuff like eyes and other fun stuff like that. I haven't necessarily tried these yet, but it's basically just a jigging spoon or any other type of spoon. So they're probably gonna get, probably gonna catch some fish. And some, the one uh, downside about this, if you can get, you can make these with, when they have a hole through them too, just stick two pieces of wire in it. And then pound it out. That would be better because it would get. You would have. It in the center. But with this it's. Not perfectly in the center. I mean you could get it pretty. Pretty darn close. Just like that. But. There we go. That's your easy to make. Cheap. Fishing. Jig.